welcome once again to this channel this is smartphone max if you're new to this channel do what to subscribe and join the community as we teach you on how to maximize your smartphone today we'll be looking at how to maximize your smartphone in graphic design this flyer you're seeing on the screen was done with a smartphone and i'm here to teach you how we did from scratch to finish without wasting much time let's get into the video Okay, welcome guys now i will be first of all it will be i'll be taking you through the size i went through to get the images we're using for this design okay uh, like i told you free peak is one of my favorites so i'll tap on free peak i'll search free peak free peak that's it here okay now the background i i used i i typed yellow patterned background okay what it's yellow pattern background okay so this is what I, I saw I saw different styles and I went for the one I, I loved okay the one we are using for the design is this one over here yes so I can download it in two ways now if I done if I click on it to bring me here okay now this one is free I can download it but remember you have only 10 downloads to do in a day as a free user so instead of me downloading through here and I, I lose one count I just tap on it and download normally okay the not image the quality will not be as sharp as but the quality is still not that bad so that's where i got the background and then for the food oh, still under free peak i typed um food image i think that's what i typed sorry no i typed food on plates food food on plates Okay, I saw different stuffs, things like this. So this was the one we are using. So I tapped on it and downloaded it too. Okay, then the logo we are using, I also typed on I think meat meat restaurant logo and I saw some ones quite good. Some ones quite good and I went for this grill. This was the one we downloaded. Okay, so now having shown you how I did everything, then many one thing. Okay, now in the design you see a paper effects done. Okay, let's get into the design. Then you see it. Um. Okay, now the first thing I will do is I import the background I downloaded. This is my download. So this is the background. So I import it. Okay, and I will crop it to the part I want to come out. Okay, so I move it. Alright, so I lock it. Yes. Then I need a thumb pepper effect to be on this right side. So I go to free peak, free peak, and I type thumb pepper, thumb paper effects, thumb paper effects. And you see different things like this. It's different things like this. They're all thumb paper effects. Okay, you can go and head to download any one, but you see the one I downloaded. Okay, so this was the one I downloaded. Okay, so I downloaded it. You see how I'm going to manipulate it to. So the essence of this video is to show you the design is a, is a simple and nice one, but the essence is to show you how to download some of these things. How to manipulate them tweak them okay so you see how i'm going to tweak this some paper effect okay now the part i want to come out now i'll just put it here now i want this edges that edges that shows is a thumb paper that white part to come out okay so i go to erase color i enable it normally white parts will leave okay but 
so what i'll do i'll click on this pointer tool and tap on this red yes then the red part will go okay i'll increase it so the edges will go okay so i'm left with this so what do i do i increase the size i increase the size and paste them i'll increase them and keep them here then i'll copy this i'll copy this image i'll copy this image and then make this one black you get or the color i want make it black and then paste it here okay let me move this other one forward and make it somehow bigger okay so this one So let me just change the color to white. So to okay, yeah. Okay. And so I think it's okay. It's okay. Let me also erase it. I think it should be okay. Yeah, so I go ahead and lock them. I'm kind of seeing a black pattern here, but it's okay. So the next thing I do is to import. I've already removed the background of the food. Sorry, I'll go to my um remove background. Where is the photo room here? Yeah? Or whatever one you use, this is it already. So I'll crop it. And I'll bring it and I'll position it again. Okay. I'll position it over here. I'll make some parts to leave. Okay, now I want to make a shadow under it to show that it is on top of something. I copy the same image. Then I go to shadow. I enable the shadow. I go to this plus. I decrease the intensity. Okay. Now I go over to opacity. I reduce the opacity and the stop goes so i place it here and i drag it below this original one okay so i can also increase the size so now it's showing that it's definitely under this thing i lock it to so we're making progress i import my logo yes my grill logo where is it um, my download so i import the grill logo i will crop it yes then i will erase the color erase the color i will make it black and white yes i just change it to white because i'm going to place it on this other side already the size okay so that's it so i'm going to go ahead and put the the text so the first text is savory savory and the font for savory is the one i'm going to use is this all ages okay all ages that's the font i'm using now due to the too much space between it i decide to reduce the spaces between it i give it a black color Give it a black color. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate it. Somewhere here. Then I also write. I want to write Tuesday, but I'm going to divide it into two. Okay, so I'll give you the same fonts, all ages. Okay, now I'll I'll make them close up. Yes. So I'll also rotate it. So I'll place it behind the plates. Yes. 
let's see behind the plates now I'll move these plates inward a bit and the other one I'll also move it inward it's okay and I'll also copy the same image and write the yes now this one will be bigger this one will be bigger bigger 238 yes and then i'll reduce the rotate to minus three okay so i also bring this one down okay so the next thing I'm going to do now is to make these stuffs to look better. I'll give them a shadow, I'll reduce the opacity and decrease the blurness. Then I'll move this thing, I'll give the outer shadow. Then I'll move this to the side. Yes. I'll do the same thing there, I'll increase the shadow. I'll decrease the opacity, decrease the blur, give it an outer glow, and take it to the right. Yes. Yes. Okay, it looks sharper like this okay so then the next thing I'm going to do is to add the dates for the server we need and the venue okay so I'm going to create a circle a circle create a circle okay create a circle then I'll make it, I'll give it this red color. Now I'll write everything I want to write on it, then I'll match it. I'm going to write 15 May. Okay. 15th May. Then we'll go for Metropolis font. Metropolis. Then we'll go for the black. All right, so we center it. Increase the size. Stint me. And then also copy it and write the time. Nine PM. Nine PM. I give it another color. Yes, this same color. Okay, I picked this color from this background. This is what I did. I picker to I went to the background this is where I picked the color from okay so the color is not there originally so I had to pick it to do what I wanted to do okay So I merge it. Then I reduce it and bring it down here. Yes. I bring it down here. Now the main thing now is we need to write an allocation. Okay. Now this location is, is actually imaginative. So I just write old old streets. Palace. I don't know if the place exists. Uh, well, I'm making a design and that's what matters. Okay, so I'll just no. Let's choose a a thinner metropolis. Let's go with bold. Yes. Then I'll give it background. The same red we used. Okay. So I'll reduce the size. Now you might be seeing these things they are slanty. Where are we going to make our to make this thing aligned? We use this same this tip of the S so everything aligns here. Then I'll copy it, old street palace, 
London Express, the key, Lagos. My dear, if you go looking for there, you're in trouble. I don't know if it exists or not, so I'm just making my design. Okay. So. So this is how do you see the design? And finally, let's just add a quote. Enjoy the taste of savory stew. Okay. Then give it the same metropolis. Metropolis, but look for a lighter one, regular, yes, a medium, yeah. So we decrease the size. Give it black color. Yeah, black color, okay. And we position it over here. Yeah, I know you might be thinking it must be down. It mustn't be down, okay. But the size we the size we gave it will make it to be the last thing you still need to see. Then you discover that in the end I just used only two fonts, these all ages and metropolis. Okay. Now how do you see this design? Okay, I hope to see yours. It's very nice and awesome and simple design. Okay, the next thing you do is to save as project to avoid stories. Save as anything you want to save it as when you're done, you click on OK and then save. To the highest degree save us ultra and you're good to go i hope you got value in this video